Yes, I loved it. I learned to read before I went to school and I didn't start school till six and then I started to write. I loved writing and I was no good at arithmetic but I like I started to write poetry and stories for our little school magazine and I loved doing that. Here is the Prime Minister of Australia, the Right Honourable R.G. Menzies. Fellow Australians, it is my melancholy duty to inform you officially that in consequence of a persistence by Germany in her invasion of Poland, Great Britain has declared war upon her and that as a result, Australia is also at war. blood and tears had ended in resounding victory. Australia joined her allies in an outburst of rejoicing. I was, I worked on the magazines, first of all, the Australian Women's Weekly, then Woman's Day, and then the Sydney Morning Herald, where I was the only woman reporter on general news. The others were in the women's section writing about fashions and, you know, who was lunching with whom. <laughs> going down, but there are plenty of willing hands. Same spot that night. The Women's Weekly three-girl team hit the creek at night time, and of course their car's well and truly stuck too, until it's pulled out. Only films can capture the full drama of conditions like these. Dust caught in the beam of our special lighting gives a fantastic effect. The people, as we stopped our car just for a little to check in, people ran out and they gave us beer bottles filled with hot coffee because that was a, a fresh hot coffee drink. And some went, threw a cooked chicken in the window so we could have a nice hook, a cooked chook on our way. They're very kind. And they left it to me every day. It was like a news column, like this day tonight, or one of these TV things. And I had a couple of goes on TV in the early days, doing interviews, but it was very, very primitive then. But I didn't specialise in writing about anything. I liked talking to everyone, from politicians to pig farmers. I don't know what connection there is there.
It was the Cuban crisis and America, the Russians had put big rockets on Cuba and they were going to attack America and America was very scared. But I was in Russia, in Moscow, and there was a lot of, or I was in my hotel and all through the streets they were driving great big rockets around, towing them with trucks. I would tell a child today that you, you must study hard, that you must love one another, that there are fights all around the world, there are fights in every family and between children. And you can, it is very hard to stop fighting, even with the ones you love very much. But just try and be peaceful and be kind to one another. And to understand other people, listen to what they say. And listening to people is the best way and reading as much and learning about the world and reading every paper you can and listening to radio as much as you can. And realise that some people may sound very good but they may not be telling you the truth. Thank you for the interview. Good night to everyone.